Now, during tonight's address, President Biden spoke about Russia's invasion of Ukraine, saying the United States is defending democracy and will continue to stand by Ukraine as long as it takes. February 24th is the one-year anniversary of the start of the war. Currently, there are millions of Ukrainians who are displaced. 13 On Your Side's Andrea Flores joins us now with the local effort to take in Ukrainian refugees. Andrea. Juliet, a new program called the Welcome Corps means anyone can make a sponsor group and raise about $3,000 per refugee to provide that initial support to get them in the U.S. <laughs> right before the new year, Marie Galeski welcomed a Ukrainian refugee family into her Grand Rapids home, Valeria and Volodymyr Karnau, and their four-year-old son, Nikita. They've been a joy. It's been wonderful. The family is from Mariupol, the first city heavily bombed at the start of the war with Russia. They quickly lost their home and basic needs for survival. Through a translator, they shared their experience. At first, the city was hit by missiles. Then they started bombing our city with the airplane bombs. It was really scary. They made the dangerous decision to leave Mariupol, staying in different cities across the war-torn country to try and flee the violence. We have seen destroyed homes. We have seen destroyed cars. We have seen destroyed tanks. We have seen corpses of people just laying around. It was really horrible, and we still do not believe our luck or God how we managed to get out because we were just literally uh, lucky to get out and get through. They say they were blessed to get to participate in this refugee program. Now they're all learning English. Volodymyr is interviewing for a job, and Nikita is at Head Start getting ready for kindergarten. Their host, Marie, signed up for the Welcome NST refugee program at the beginning of the war. The amount of immediate devastation and the danger to people's lives just really touched me. Like, how would I feel if that was my grandson getting bombed? Welcome NST is one of the 200 nonprofit resettlement organizations that will now get to work with groups of private citizens to sponsor refugees to live in the U.S. The traditional resettlement process is limited by capacity right, in a significant way. One of the biggest upsides and, and hopes, right, is that this, this program, this private sponsorship option will increase the capacity of our country to welcome newcomers. Newcomers like the Karnaus, whose lives were turned upside down and changed forever. We really do not believe that this is happening to us, but we are so blessed that we fall into this wonderful path of support and care. For more information on how to get involved with Welcome NST or other Welcome Corps programs, you can find that information on our website, 13onyourside.com. Julia. Andrea, thank you.